Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanek, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Wednesday, the 6th of January, 2010. Here are today's top stories. Discover Communications, Sony Corporation through its U.S. affiliate, Sony Corporation of America, and IMAX Corporation joined in partnership to develop and launch the first 24-7 all 3D television network in the U.S. by 2011. All three entities are equal partners and hope to spur consumer purchases of 3D televisions. Simultaneously, ESPN announced it will launch ESPN 3D this year with a goal to present 85 live sporting events within the first year. ESPN 3D will begin with the first 2010 FIFA World Cup game on June 11th. CBS Evening News with Katie Couric is sporting a new introduction voiceover as of this Monday from Academy Award winning actor Morgan Freeman. The new voiceover by Freeman replaces the voice of the late news anchor Walter Cronkite. TV One introduces the world premiere of the new African American produced comedy Love That Girl starring Tatiana Ali. The four part half hour sitcom will begin with two back to back episodes at 9 p.m. on January 19th with one new episode episode airing on January 20th and 21st, beginning at 9 p.m. History deconstructs favorite foods in its newest series, Food Tech, opening January 21st at 9 p.m. Host Bobby Bognar travels the U.S. searching for the origins of of much-loved meals. PBS launches a new weekly four-part series exploring America's immigrant tapestry as Faces of America with Henry Louis Gates, Jr. premieres February 10th and airs on Wednesdays through March 3rd, beginning at 8 p.m. Now check your local listings. ABC Family's Season 2B debut of The Secret Life of the American Teenager, Monday at 8 p.m., attracted 4.5 million total viewers. Following at 9 p.m., the network returned a new season of Make It or Break It, which drew in 2.7 million total viewers. Food Network kicked off the New Year Sunday night with its highest-rated most-watched night in the network's history. Super Chef Battle, an Iron Chef America event, delivered 7.6 million total viewers, and new series Worst Cooks in America drew 4 million total viewers. 20th Television Inc. announced animated sitcom Family Guy will remain in off-net syndication on Fox and Tribune stations through the 2014-2015 season. Now additionally, animated series American Dad, new to the syndication marketplace, has been picked up in more than 19 markets. NBC approved a new yet-to-be-titled comedy pilot headlined by Adam Carolla, where the comedian also executive produces. Carolla plays a contractor and a father whose life goes a little haywire when his wife leaves him. And last up today, True TV is moving forward with new series Southern Fried Stings, centering on Jay Russell, a former state trooper, and his team as they go after criminals involved in drug dealing to stealing. And on that note, that's a wrap. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek. I'm going to have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm going to have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm going to have a good day. Hope you have a good day, too.